Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of... Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which gives me the ideal opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with what's going on in the world of Transformers, with what's going on with my channel, and of course with what's going on with my Instagram, which is at toys underscore R Us. So, quite a lot to go through with you today. A lot of this, to be honest, is stuff that we know about or figures that we've been aware of, but there's just so many of them that have all of a sudden just appeared and we've got loads and loads of in-hand images of these. Um, so let's have a look. There's Masterpiece, there's Third Party, the Studio Series, there's loads. First one we're going to start with is, of course, Masterpiece Cliff Jumper. And again, I'm really liking the look of this guy. It's nice to see, obviously, him and I suppose how he's going to be released, um, because before... Um, all of the test shot images and you know the green ones of him and it must have been a sort of mistransformed one we saw last time of him wasn't doing him any justice whatsoever whereas that guy looks absolutely beautiful really really good use of the reds wheels obviously and the tires are looking like they're rubber which they should be lovely translucent plastic there's the detail at the back and then what we've got here is we've got some more pictures of him in his robot mode but also um, I'm not too sure who these pictures are from. I think it's saying that, obviously, in the top um, right-hand corner of your screen. But um, this is what I like. You've got some in-hand images with them in his hands, so you can get a bit of a feel and a bit of a gauge of how big the toy actually is. Um, and, yeah, the, I mean, look at that for the detailing on it. It's looking stunning. Really liking the look of this. And as I say, at the moment, I'm not sure exactly what it is with masterpieces. They just seem to have turned my head again, and I just seem to be quite interested in them. Um, so I think I might be having to pre-order that guy as well. Right, next one then, third party fans. Fans Hobby MB13A Red Buzzer or Siren or Go Shooter, however you want to refer to him as. For those of you unaware of the two, Siren was the Hasbro release, Go Shooter was the Takara release. This is the first pictures of mainly Siren because he's got the Siren colours, which is of course the grey with the blue. And again, this guy's looking really good. Uh, loads of action poses with him. Most of the information you'll see on here I get from websites like tformers.com, TFW2005 and Cybertron. I literally just, as you can see, screenshot it. Obviously, if you want to see these in much more detail, if you go to them particular websites themselves, you'll see these. Um, yeah, without having to come to here and look at these images here. But look at this. Stunning. Lovely use of red translucent plastic again. It just seems everybody's using translucent plastic, which really works in my opinion. There he is in both modes, and of course, he is what's known as a junior headmaster or godmaster. Um, and there is, of course, with the mini tech specs or the readings on his chest. And there he is with Nightbeat, another one of their figures. And again, in both of them in alternate modes. And there, of course, is Go Shooter. So Go Shooter is the Japanese take on Siren. Lovely, looking really good. Right, what's this? So. This is a KFC um, KP18 medical bed for MP44 Optimus Prime. It, this has been really big. This is, seems to be really popular, but this is obviously going to now enable you to recreate the scene with your MP44 from Transformers the movie. So you can literally have him laying in there, or of course you can use it for a medical bed for any other scene that you want to be doing as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be that. And funnily enough, talking about that particular scene, one of the main Autobots involved in that was, of course, Perceptor. And again, we've got some more in-hand images of the actual toy itself. This guy, for me, is definitely on pre-order already. Looks really good. The other generations, one of him was brilliant in robot mode, but his alternate mode was a truck. And it shouldn't be. This is what it should be. It should be that microscope like that with, of course, the bonus cannon mode. Pretty much that's a beautiful homage to G1. If you're unsure of the bonus mode there, check out the video on G1 Percept I've done on this channel. He's actually got like a fourth mode as well. So you can check that out just by typing Percept into the search bar of this channel. There he is with, and this is interesting. Obviously, look how much smaller Hot Rod is. Hot Rod's so much smaller than him. But of course, he's nowhere near as big as leader class Magnus. And oh, that's one of my things. Funnily enough, I'm going to be complaining about that. Uh, and again, let me know yourself, guys. This is from my particular, this is from the email. I'm, this is nothing to do with what's happening Wednesday, but this is what I'm going to be sending off to Hasbro because I'm just not happy with the um, quality of my Origins Bumblebee. Have you guys suffered the same? Um, let me know if you have and let me know if you had any feedback. 
Um, I've sent my email off anyway, so fingers crossed I'll get some feedback from them pretty soon. I've had to send it. I haven't do, don't normally send many figures back, but I'm just not happy with that one at all. Right, moving on. Again, another figure that we know about, um, and heaven only knows where they've got these particular pictures from. This is, of course, the new Soundwave Studio Series that we're all waiting to see. Um, and yeah, this, again, unknown source at the moment just seems to have it in hand. Um, it looks legit. It looks very much like um, the pictures there. I mean, it's even got a box there, as you can see. Um, and I think there's a few more pictures of that that have arrived and surfaced since um, I've done this. Someone's just shown it me in the alternate mode. But again, it's it's not confirmed, but it looks, it looks completely legit to me. The next one you've just seen is, of course, Jackpot with sights yeah golden disc one and ironically enough again just before i checked this i've got a confirmation email that mine will be delivered today they sent me an email yesterday on the tuesday saying that it was being dispatched and it's going to be delivered today so there is of course jackpot using the studio series 86 uh, jazz mold and there is of course sights and there is of course sights compared with some of the other uses of the same mold. So I'm really excited about this guy, to be honest. Again, I've done a video on Jackpot, if you want to catch that out just to see who he is. He's, um, he was an action master, but now he's got an alternate mode. And again, it looks really cool. And I'm such a sucker for an exclusive. So fingers crossed, there's the box. Uh, it should be arriving today. I can get this um, done in a video and get it up for you. Right, moving on, something that's a little strange, but well, it's not strange, it's just a bit of fun. This is the Symbiote Studios Plush Unicron Cushion. And it's huge. It's 14 inches, it says. Look how big it is if you sit it, stick it on a couch. So yes, you too can have the head of Unicron. Um, and again, I took all this information right there from TFW 2005. It's got a big write-up about it there. Moving on to the other masterpiece figure that I am really excited about, yet more in-hand images, this time more of robot mode, and it is, of course, Shuki. And I think this guy is getting more popular because for us in the UK, there was going to be only one particular website that we could get him in on. But now I know quite a few more, including robot recruits, are going to be able to get them in. Kapow is going to be able to get them in, um, and I presume in demand as well. So it's nice to be able to know that we can get hold of these figures. Right, guys in the US, this is crazy. This is leaked, or that's not leaked, I suppose it's information making you guys aware of the Black Friday deals that you're going to be able to get from Walmart. So there we go, it's just about in screen there. So if you want to pause, you can. Some of the highlights for this are the Arc, which is down to $119. Coincidentally, in the UK, Smiths have just dropped theirs to £109 as well. But what about this? The War for Cybertron Leader Class Spoiler two pack so that was the last one the um kingdoms that's the megatron with the skellivore that is down to 34 dollars 99 that's an absolute bargain it was nearly double that in pounds in the uk when that came out is it now about 60 odd pounds yeah crazy money crazy money sparkless seeker battle pack 37 dollars um optimus prime and rat trap that's down to 29 loads and loads of crazy deals um i suppose you've just got to get online and get them ordered fast enough Right, Trans Art Toys, again, apologies if I've got that wrong. It's a third party company that I, in all honesty, again, don't know too much about, but this figure looks beautiful. This is BWMO5, Four Forms Commander, which is their take on, of course, Beast Wars, Trans Metal 2, Optimus Primal. Now, I've only took a handful of photos of this. There's the packaging. But again, on tformers.com, there is about 50 pictures of this guy. It looks amazing and it's and you won't be able to tell just yet until i get to the uh, scale pictures in a minute just how big this guy is yes that's a working led inside as well um and again he just looks really really good of course he's got all his different modes um he, great figure the detail on it's fantastic that's there just showing you where the led is um of course there's a brilliant shot of his head sculpt as i say there's so many more pictures of this on tformers.com I'm just going to quickly, you can probably gauge how big it is there, the fact that the guy can just about grab his hand around the top part of his torso. There's the LED again. There's again with his, um, I suppose, wings out. There he is with an Optimus Primal. Apologies for the glare, everybody. There he is with some more Optimus Primals. 
Moving into the bigger figures now, there you've got your MP44, etc. And he's still just as big as them normal height. But then, of course, with the big wings, he towers above them. Looking brilliant. And then this is the last thing I've literally just found as well. That um, Draculus is going to, again, in America. So maybe it'll follow suit over here. It was just only available on Hasbro initially. But it's going to be available in Target stores from the 28th of November. And funnily enough, some guy has managed to find one already. And he's picked himself one up. So if you missed that or you want it and you didn't have used access to Hasbro Pulse, they're going to be in Target stores. Right, very quickly, the channel then. I'm very, very close and a huge, huge thank you to everybody, even though I do videos like this and it's very primitive. Um, but I just want to get the information across to you, as I say, as soon as I can. Um, I'm nearly hit 2,500 subscribers. Again, thank you so, so much for that. Um, you may have noticed in the background of my normal videos that there's loads of brown boxes. I'm slowly selling off some of my movie figures to fund things that are coming in right now. I've had a really, really big, well not big, I've had a really special delivery come this week. Ready for my 2,500. I'm going to do a live, it'll probably be next week sometime. I'm going to do a real special unboxing with that. And again, do another Q&A and just sit down and interact with you guys. Looking forward to that. I'll give you more details about that next week. It's, it, I've hit the number faster than I thought I would. So again, huge, huge thank yous to that. Um, obviously, World Smallest Transformer Bumblebee last night. I've got loads more of them to do. That seems to be the big thing on Instagram at the moment. People have got uh, World Smallest Transformer. So I'm going to do a few more of my collection of that. Um, I'm going to put pipes up. And I'm going to put the Combiner Wars version of pipes later. Um, just again, just for a bit of fun, because the people have asked me to do that. I'm going to get the Linkin Park sound wave done for this weekend as well. Um, for anybody who lives in the UK, I'm actually going to be at Rollout Roll Call this weekend. So I did the Comic Con last weekend. I'm going to be at Rollout Roll Call this weekend on the Sunday. So I'll do some videos of that for the channel. And be great to meet anybody who's in there in person as well. And Instagram, exactly that. People give me suggestions. I'll get the pictures up for you. Um, that's, I suppose, that's it. That's it. Again, another crazy, crazy week. Um, I'll keep you guys updated with another update on Friday as well. But in the meantime, thank you ever so much for watching, liking, sharing, etc. As I say, two and a half thousand subscribers. It's it's crazy. It, it's it's really nice feeling as well. So thank you very much, guys. Please take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.